Hey guys, welcome to this channel. This video, we're going to be looking at top 10 API product manager interview questions that are asked across companies like Razorpay, Swiggy, Zomato, Amazon, etc. Note that an API product manager is a little different from the usual product manager and the API product itself is also different from an app or a platform. So while you're looking at these questions, ensure that you also have a working understanding of an API product manager is. I've added a link to a video in the description. So if you don't have that understanding, ensure that you check that out. That's it. Let's get started. For an RCA question, so you're a PM of Razorpay and your API product usage has fallen by 30%. How would you go about this? If this was a typical non-API question. You'd look at the user journey, you'd figure out where the drop-offs are happening and then you debug from that point. But in this specific case, because this is an API product, there is no user journey per se and the issue can also be most likely an internal issue because APIs don't really have a UI. So you'll try to structurally break down issues that can happen on the internal side of things. For example, if the issue is happening on a third-party vendor, if the issue is happening on your, on your own gateway, the issue is happening when the request is made or when the response is going. The type of error codes that are being served to your customers. So if there is no issue there, only then you would go ahead and look at external factors. Unlikely for an API product because they're either B2B or B2B2C. So they're not customer facing like typical platform or an app product. But the goal here is still the structure of the solution, but you need a working understanding of how APIs work. So, so keep that in mind. Number two, analytical metric based questions. An example would be how would you measure the success of an internal API product? Now API metrics are similar to platform or an app when it comes to revenue and user acquisition. But the third important aspect of an API product is the usage, the RP and the scalability. If it's an internal product, because you're likely not making money, important metric would be know the usage of the product. So if the usage is high, you know the product is doing well. And the RPS, request serve per second. So if you're able to serve high amount of requests per second, know that your product is scalable. Number three, technical questions. Know how of what JSON is, API structure, PI methods, SDKs, monetizing ML models and data. The question would be how would you monetize an internal recognition model? The goal here is to see if you have a working understanding of how machine learning model is built and why we use APIs in order to serve these models. Number four, behavioral or situation based. Because APIs have a very high usage, outages are common. So the interviewer might want to understand you would behave in a situation where a major outage has happened. For example, a customer calls you at 2 a.m. at midnight, the major outage, how would you approach that problem? Goal here again is to structure. Typically what you do is you try to isolate the problem. The very first thing you would do is you'd look at data dashboards, look at the type of error codes. So typically XX error codes in everything is fine, but 500s and 400 means there is a problem. Look at dashboard, look if other customers are facing a similar problem. If yes, you know there is an internal problem and you need to work together with your team in order to fix it. If this is the only customer who's facing issue, there may be an issue with authentication failing or running out of money. Maybe a development change on their own end. Idea is to understand if you know how to isolate and attack outage problems. Specify estimation, guesstimate questions. Example, estimate the number of teacups consumed in Mumbai. Again, this may not be directly related to APIs. An API product manager also works with the strategy team in order to take APIs out to the market. So it's very important. It's important to know how APIs are marketed, taken out to customers. Again, ask questions. Or if you're looking at demand or supply side, the approach does not change. You're not aware of the approach. Check out my guesstimate answer for this question in the description. Number six, development or product adoption. How do you enable non-technical users to use our API. And the goal here is to see if you know your personas. Typically APIs would have personas who will buy the product and then developer or technical personas who will then integrate these APIs in their product. So this needs clear understanding of what an API is. Once you know what an API is and how it works, it's not hard to find no-code tools and platforms like Postman to test and run these APIs. Tools like Retool and Postman also enable you to test these APIs without writing a single line of code. I've added a link to both of these videos in the description as well if you're interested. Number seven, market entry. Example, how would you take a newly launched API product out to the market? So while broadly the approach to taking these products out to the market it remains the same. Note that the audience here is mostly B2B and B2B2C. Channels to target these audience does not change, but you may also want to think of adoption. There is a B2B business customer who would want to buy your API. How do you enable faster testing of these APIs? So when you're building your go-to-market plan, you may also want to account for faster adoption by enabling them to test our APIs without friction. So while you'd still figure personas, no channels to target, You'd have to build documentation for developers and serve platforms for non-tech users to go and test your product. Also ensure that your APIs are correctly priced. We're going to be making a video on API pricing in the near future. So subscribe to the channel if you're interested. Number eight, favorite ad product question. If you've been in a product manager interview, you might have heard about these questions. So the interviewer will ask about your favorite product and then follow up with how you would improve this product. Either getting more users, monetizing the product or improving user experience. Goal here is to have a structure, look at relevant user groups, their pain points, prioritize these pain points, build solution, finally figure out how you understand the success of your product. Personal suggestion, also know three bad products 
and how you would improve each of these products. Number eight, API design questions. APIs don't have a design. Typically, APIs don't have a design, like a platform or an app product, but they do have a syntax that is followed across the API development community. While you're answering this question, you need to know how an API structure looks like. So an API, an API typically has a header, body, parameter section, type of method. Ensure you're familiar with how the API structure looks like, and how the data is transmitted from point A to point B. When talking about design, it's more about how your data is structured and the type of data your type of data you're delivering to the customer if you're building a product to access internal data in your design you need to account what type of data you don't want to send to the customer the type of data if sent will not cause any privacy issues for our internal users so ensure you're familiar with all of these concepts finally hygiene set of questions you need to have a basic understanding of the api business the personas you need to understand how an api product roadmap looks like for starters it's a little bit different than platform or an app product how you can improve an api metrics you track for an api but broadly these are 10 questions that you should absolutely know moving into an api product manager interview i hope this video is helpful consider subscribing to the channel dropping a like on this video share this across with a friend i'll see you in the next one